Yeah, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you with another hockey break. We are going to do some young guns hunting again today. Uh, specifically, one young guns in particular. I am still looking for the very elusive pull, at least for me. Uh, we'll talk about that here momentarily. Let's talk about the background cards and you guys can probably figure out what product we're breaking uh, based on some of the boxes in the background the cards. Um, so center stage, we got my elusive, uh, the player that I'm hunting for at least. Um, but that is my 1718 CHL, Upper Deck CHL, uh, Alexis Lafreniere star rookie card. That is a BGS 9.5. Um, and then all around him on both sides, we'll go left to right. These are all Young Guns canvas pulls. So far for me, I've been beating the odds and pulling a heck of a lot of Young Guns canvas cards uh, so far for myself this year. But left to right so far, these are ones I've pulled. Gabe Velarde, uh, Ty Delandrea. Mikey Anderson and Tyler Benson. Uh, so I'm also looking for Alexis Lafreniere's canvas rookie card, and we're looking for his um, basic Young Guns because I've not pulled it yet. Today we're going to do a retail box of 2021 Upper Deck Series 1 hockey uh, hunting for Alexis Lafreniere. We'll get right into this, tell you guys where I'm at kind of in this hunt. Um, so I've done a lot of this off camera for myself so far because I'm really, really determined to pull some Lafreniere's for myself. I bought into two case breaks so far, uh, two Hobby Box case breaks, um, and I own the Rangers for both. Neither of them have broke yet, so I'm hoping for some real luck there. I mean, I assume I'm going to get some Lafreniere's out of there, but I want to pull some for myself. I'm hoping in those breaks to be lucky enough to get like a, you know, like a high gloss or an exclusives. That would just be insane. Um, but... I expect to get some young guns from that for Lafreniere, but I do want to pull my very own. Um, so I've not pulled my own yet. Still looking to do that. Hopefully we do that on camera for you guys today. And if you're curious where I'm at in my young guns hunt, I do try to collect the young guns each and every year and fill them out. This is my kind of checklist that I use. Print it out. This is Series 1. This is where it stands right now with me. Anybody that's not crossed off, I'm still looking for those. The highlighted one, obviously, is number 201, Alexis Lafreniere. So that's where I'm at. So far today, I've broke, oh, uh, let's see, to myself, I've done three retail boxes, I think six mega boxes, uh, probably six of the fat packs, and three of the blaster boxes. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. I've not pulled it, like I said, um, and those are all the canvas ones I've got. We'll see how lucky I get right now. I still have another three of these retail boxes. I have three or four mega boxes right now. I think four fat packs, and I have six hobby boxes on the way to me uh, currently. So there will be a lot more breaks of this to come on here for sure. Uh, for those that like the 2021 Series 1 kind of chase for Lafreniere, that will definitely continue on here. I've kind of slacked and backed off of uh, doing any videos and stuff like that on him for a little bit, uh, but now is the time. So uh, we're going to continue this hunt right now. You guys can see that I'll probably fly through most of these cards uh, you know, no disrespect to the cards or anything, but I know you guys are probably pretty tired of seeing the base cards by now. This has been out for a little bit. Lots of breaks have been up on YouTube. Um, and let's just face it, this hunt is all about Lafreniere right now, at least for me. Um, the guy could fizzle out, who knows, but, uh, he has real potential, so I absolutely want to be on the bus and have some of his, uh, young guns lined up for myself. Um, and I want to have the fun of pulling one on camera. So if you guys don't know or are new to retail boxes or hockey, uh, these retail boxes here, they are not hobby. Again, obviously it's retail, so we lack some of the things that hobby boxes have. Certain inserts will not be in here uh, for sure. There's no chance of pulling any of those. And the big thing uh, that directly affects me that I would care about the most is the young guns. We cannot get an exclusives. We cannot get like acetate. We can't get a high gloss, any of that. You can just get basic Young Guns in here, as well as Young Guns canvases. Uh, those are a little bit harder. They're like one in every 48 packs, which is two boxes. Um, but, yeah, you can you can get them. And like I said, in this year's release, Lafreniere has both his Young Guns, uh, basic rookie, and his canvas Young Guns. They're both in Series 1, so we're hunting for either of those. Canvas one should be a little bit harder to find, obviously, but uh, we'll see. So we're expecting six Young Guns out here, and I see we have our first one coming up, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's see what Young Guns this is. And it is P.O. Joseph. There you go for my pens. That's the second one of those I pulled. That's pretty cool, though. That will go to the PC. Anybody that doesn't know this guy, uh, I am telling you, as a diehard pens fan, that is a guy that you want to keep your eyes on. Uh, if you pull any of his Young Guns, I would hold on to them. Take care of them. 
Uh, might not have a ton of value right now, but I will tell you that is our number one defense uh, prospect in our entire system for the Pens. Uh, he's a big part of the Phil Kessel trade there with Arizona. Uh, other than Alex Galchenyuk coming back, that was kind of the big guy. Uh, I think he's going to be a big part of the Pens defense here within the next uh, year or two. So I am definitely high on him, and I would advise you guys to you know, take care of any of his rookie cards that you may pull this year and stuff because uh, he could definitely be a guy that would pan out. That is our number one defensive prospect. All right, so moving on here, it looks like we have our first, I think, portraits coming up. Yeah, there you go. Portraits, they've switched the looks completely here this year, kind of like a Save by the Bell or Pee Wee's Playhouse look, I call it. Reminds me of anything like early 90s, but we got Austin Matthews there and his maybe to be powerful mustache down the road. We'll see what that's going to grow into, um, but there you go with that. So back to the Young Gun stuff and the odds here, guys. You are looking at six Young Guns guaranteed in this retail box. Uh, four canvas cards. The If you pull a canvas Young Gun, that does not count towards your Young Guns. It counts as a canvas hit, so um, that would be a bonus way of pulling another Young Gun. Uh, we're going to get, a, I think, four of these portraits in here. Here's another one right there, Connor Hellebuck. Um, um, but yeah, you can... You're going to get those. Uh, we'll also pull probably one or two Dazzlers out of here. Um, I pulled you know quite a few of those out of these retail boxes by now. Uh, I know a lot of people like them. I, I have kind of mixed feelings on them. I mean, they don't... I guess I'm just neutral. I guess if I had to pick on those Dazzler cards, they don't do much for me, but I'm not... You know, I don't think they're terrible. I just don't really like them that much. They kind of remind me of like a uh, Panini, like baseball-ish type of thing, like with uh, Donruss or something like that. One of the fireworks cards. Uh, but it looks like another, maybe Young Guns, or maybe not. Nope, I was wrong. Another base pack. So you're going to have quite a few base packs in here with it being a retail box. Um, that's just standard. There's going to be at least, I'd say, a half dozen plus uh, base packs in here. So obviously I have quite the pile of base cards by now with this, and I'm, it's only going to grow, obviously. Uh, shake and bake Gensel there. And another base pack there. We'll also probably pull one jersey card. I believe that's seems to be pretty much guaranteed. Um, should have showed you guys the odds. I'll, I'll do it at the end of the video for you guys. I know there are some people that like to know the odds on retail and stuff like that. That's no problem. I will show you guys that at the end of this video. And you can pause and check the odds out as you guys would like. Another Young Guns of Ryan McLeod. Ryan McLeod. Can't remember if that's one of the ones I need or not. I don't have the list memorized right now even though i just showed you guys it i do not have it memorized so we'll see there try to remember if there's any other things to expect in the retail box i don't think there is i think i touched on basically all the inserts to expect um to pull in here and what on earth we got a weird weird er looking insert coming up i'm not sure what it or is it not an insert no, it's a base card. Actually, that Philip Grubauer was throwing me off from the left. It looked like it was some type of insert coming up, but no, it's just a base card there, so nothing insane, obviously. I've noticed that 2021 uh, packs are a little bit harder to open than in years past. I'm starting to get down for how much of it I've opened, but it's definitely a little bit harder than some of the other years. Nice Connor Mack right there. Another portrait's Braden Shen. So it's our third one of those. We're probably going to have one more of those in this box. And that should do it for the portraits. Um, out of the other retails boxes I've opened so far out of this product this year, I've noticed there's really no rhyme or reason to it. I thought I had a system down, but I definitely do not. Uh, some of the young guns were all like piled at the top. The first four packs were young guns. And then the last two were at the very bottom, but then other boxes were completely different. So there's no rhyme or reason right now. Um, I've not figured out any specific system to this. I also, at least as of the recording of this... This is not going to air um, immediately when I record this, so this will probably be, if I had to guess, towards the end of December when I actually air this video. Um, but as of this recording, uh, I have not figured out, or no one has figured out yet, the cards that, or the players that kind of go with uh, the Lafreniere Young Guns. Uh, you know, like sometimes they're associated with other Young Guns in the box. Nobody knows quite yet in retail boxes who he's associated with, if anybody, and it's not random. We've got our first Dazzlers coming up. We've got a blue Dazzlers of Matt Duchesne. So that's what these Dazzlers look like. Again, they remind me of like the fireworks cards that uh, I've pulled out of mainly, I guess, Donner's Baseball and stuff like that. Those are not numbered. If anybody's curious, that's what the backs look like. But there you go. Nothing too insane with those. The rest will be base. 
So only two young guns so far. We're expecting at least six more. Um, plus four canvas cards. We've not even pulled a canvas yet. And we're getting towards the bottom half of this box. So eight of these packs are going to have canvas cards and young guns. So that's the majority of these packs. And then probably one jersey. So I think it's going to count for the rest of these packs from here on out. Maybe one portraits we're missing. First canvas. Johnny Thun. Quick. Johnny Quick. So nothing insane. We've got three more of those coming. Hopefully one of them is another young guns. We'll get lucky. Like I said, I have been beating the odds, as you, as you can see in the background with those four canvas young guns so far. I have had some luck. Uh, I'm not sure what we have in this one. I think it's another young guns. No canvas. Brent Burns. Brent Burns canvas. There you go. Pretty cool picture with his powerful, powerful beard. Checklist finishes that pack off. Jersey cards normally one of the last packs on the bottom of this, I've noticed. Uh, yeah, we definitely have a Young Guns in this one. And it is Igor Zamola. I think I have that one. Um, but I'll check afterwards for the Flyers, Igor Zamola. Getting down to the bottom of this box. I think six packs left, if I'm counting correctly. Three Young Guns, two Canvas, and um, let's see a Jersey card. That's my prediction. If I've counted these packs correctly. I don't think we're going to have any base packs left. So here we go, another Young Guns coming up of Peyton Krebs. I do not have that one, I'm pretty sure. So that's uh, pretty cool. At least check that off the old checklist. If anything, if I don't pull off Renier here today, hopefully we're checking a few guys off my checklist towards getting the entire set of the Series 1 Young Guns. And next one's our final portraits. Sebastian Aho. And more base. And yeah, we have four packs left. Two canvas, two young guns. Wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Is it? Wait. Four young guns, two canvas. Interesting. Let me pull these out of the box. Maybe I miscount. Yep, I did miscount. Six packs left. All right, that's a little better. I thought we were shorted here. It wasn't adding up. Because I'm like, we're still doing jersey card too. So, all right. So, jersey card, two young guns, two canvas. And maybe a retail pack, or a uh, base pack, I mean. That's my prediction. Another Young Guns coming up of Alex uh, Belzil. I got a little excited when I was just looking at the name only and saw that uh, ALEX for Alexis Lafreniere. But still, not bad. I believe that's the first one of those I have as well, so that's another one off the checklist at least. One of the other big... Young Guns, if you didn't see on my kind of checklist I showed you here a little bit at the beginning, Nick Robertson, he's one of the better ones to get, and I think I have already pulled three of his, so that's pretty cool. All right, our final Young Guns is coming up right here, and it is Ty Delandria. So uh, no Lafreniere in here as far as the basic Young Guns, unless we pull a canvas one, um, because there is still that potential. Rather unlikely, but the odds are you know, they're against us, but there's a chance. And come on. Believe it or not, this is one of the easier pack openings I've had of uh, Series 1. The packs are very difficult this year to break. Canvas. Oh, nice. Peyton Krebs, Canvas Young Guns. See, the uh, Canvas Young Guns luck has been with me, like I said. There we go, Peyton Krebs. That is one I do not have as well. You guys saw the Canvas Young Guns I have up so far, so that is definitely a new one for the old PC. Very nice. Uh, I'm checking quite a few of those off the list, which... It's rather difficult to do, because like I said, it's 1 in 48 for Canvas Young Guns. So 1 in every 2 of these boxes. It's already my 5th uh, Canvas Young Guns, so not too bad. Not too bad. Beating the odds for sure. So one more basic Canvas, I'd say, and there it is. Nick Suzuki. You guys can see that. Base. Two packs left. I'm going to say one of these is going to be a base pack. The other one's going to have our jersey. You'll be able to get your first look if you haven't seen jersey cards this year. Uh, they're you know kind of basic, really small jersey swatch. Uh, it's kind of built like into the blade of a hockey stick this year. A little bit different design. Uh, this is probably a base pack, and it is. So base pack there. Last pack. It's a jersey hot pack. I can pretty much guarantee it. Uh, well, let's see. Yep. Got a thick, 
thicky in there, so that's going to be a relic kit. And you can hope for something bigger, but it's going to be a game jersey. And it is going to be hey, a decent player. Don't have that one yet for sure. You guys see that? That's just base to finish us off. But uh, Andre Vasilevsky, right there, and you guys can see the jersey is actually in the like blade of the stick there. It's kind of a cool design. It's better than a lot of the years past, I'd say. These have only a couple couple dollar value to them and stuff, but they're still pretty cool. Andre Vasilevsky, so you guys can see the back of that as well. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Pretty decent break, no loft for near, but there's our game jersey card. Uh, the Dazzlers, I guess I'll just show you guys a little bit of highlights, not much. The one and only Dazzlers, the Matt Duchesne Blue. Uh, probably the big pull of the box, at least for me. Uh, these canvas young guns are really hard to come by. So Peyton Krebs, not too shabby there. And then our six basic young guns. I'll sleeve these up right after, but uh, Ty Delandria, Alex Belzil, Peyton Krebs, the basics. So we hit both Peyton Krebs in here. Igor Zamola, Ryan McLeod, and P.O. Joseph there for my pens. And last but not least, I will show you the odds because i promised y'all the odds you guys can pause and check those out if you'd like right there but uh yeah not too bad hope you guys enjoyed the break uh please do me a favor like subscribe share click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos lots more of them coming to you as always in the description below you can find my email address as well as mailing address and my instagram uh kind of handle i guess if you will i'm a little bit newer to instagram there and stuff but i set one up we're gonna Start to fill it out with some of the hits we get on here and stuff, and uh, probably start to sell off some cards. Uh, so I'll probably be willing to wheel and deal with you guys on there here once we get that set up and some cards uploaded and stuff, because I start to have to fund these breaks a little bit, because obviously the price adds up on here, as anybody knows, though, with uh, today's collecting. Other than that, though, have a great day, great night, wherever y'all are at, and we will see you next time.